What's up everyone, it's Grim Reaper Sage here, this is my 3 minute review for Mad Devil's Definitive Edition. Shout out to the publisher and developer um, Itzy Interactive who are kind enough to give me the PS5 review code. This is £13.99 and released on the PS5 on the 13th of August 2024. So yeah, let's get into it. So, um, story I found was interesting and weird. Um, it's got like a weird vibe to it, but it's kind of cool. Controls are easy enough to understand, pick up and play, which is really good. Uh, difficulty options, nice suit everyone. Even on the most easiest setting, it is still yo know, challenging, which is good. Enemies are cool, though weather own looking attacks. There's a lot of different varieties to the enemies. Everything from like normal soldiers to weird stone gargoyle things to everything in between. Um... Really big nostalgic old school vibes. It reminds me of the old um, sort of third person run and gun shooters I used to play when I was growing up. Uh, the elements are really cool. Uh, so you get different elements which you can put on your gun and then they have different abilities. So you can use them and make your own build. You can swap them as well. So if you choose fire on and you go to like an ice level it might do more. But then obviously if you go to an ice level you might want to change it or vice versa. Which is always good that you can change it. It is fun um, solo. You can play it fine solo. As you can see, I'm playing it solo. You get an AI companion which you can swap to, so you can almost have like two builds running, so you can jump around, which is good. And you can play it with your friends. Couple negatives, however, though, is um, weapons abilities for me don't have a lot of impact or feedback when being used. Yeah, you know, like you could be shooting into an enemy and it just doesn't feel like it's really doing anything with them. Like as you can see, I'm just shooting the enemies there and they're just like, doesn't really have a lot of um, impact to it. And it's really, really easy to get lost. The You can use the map in this if you pause the game, you can then scroll around the world. But there's no like waypoint or you know dotted line that say go here, go there. So I got lost really easy. Overall, I'd have to put this as a weight on a sale, just because, like I said, yeah, it does have a weird, interesting story and difficulty options and everything else. But like I said, yeah, it has the weapon abilities, which don't have a lot of impact or feedback when you're using them, which is a bit sad. Um, and it's really easy to get lost, so as for that, that's why I'd put it as that. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe. It helps an absolute ton. Check out my blog as well. It's blog. As on there is where I post my fan art and everything else. Any questions, put it in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them as best I can. And as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all soon.